Good evening, folks. Richard here. With an in book, uh, with another book review. Um, I have uh, sent out for a couple of uh, used copy of uh, <clears throat> some reference material. Uh, this one over here I received first was The Basic of Ship Modeling, an illustrated guide by Mike Ashe. Uh, all the information about uh, the manual will be uh, down in the description. The other one we have here I just received today is Building and Detailing Scale Ship Models, or Scale Model Ships, again from uh, Mike Ashe. This is a 2000 publication. This is a 1996 publication. A lot of this, uh, the information contained in here, is uh, in the 2000 version. Um, I'll go through uh, what each contains and then we're going to touch on this one which I mentioned on the Frugal Modeler um, episode 11 uh, with the Colonel. Reference uh, this book uh, is worth the price of admission. I believe I paid eight dollars for it, or some of that used. Okay. Uh, there's a section there on uh, deck railing, okay, of uh, the Missouri, which is a model ship that I will be building, and uh, it all it can also apply for the lessons learned in there. It can also apply to uh, my uh, Bismarck. Now. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of the book, uh, I want to show you why this book uh, is worth the price of admission. I'm going to see if the camera can focus in on that. See if I can bring some light on the subject without... Uh, Okay, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Okay, that is the deck railing. Very, 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 very small. Uh, if we look at, uh, if we take a measure, uh, each piece of deck rail is... Uh, Four millimeters. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the railing itself, okay, is oh, I would say maybe five thousandths of an inch. Okay. Uh, if I take my uh, verniers here, uh, the railing itself, as I said, okay, is. Uh, very very fine okay and the thickness of this photo which piece is three thousandths of an inch now when I receive this okay this is for my Bismarck when I received that I looked at it and I said holy jumping Jesus now I know why we see a lot of model ships okay uh, portrayed uh, by both uh, both uh, like the Missouri, the Yamato uh, from Japan, okay, and uh, the Bismarck and uh, the Turpits and so on and so forth without deck railing, and I can understand why. So I acquired this volume, okay. Uh, it is uh, from the publishers of Fine Scale Modeler magazine, okay. Um, its ISBN number is 089-024-3727. Uh, retail price at the time was uh, $18.95 US. Like I said, I paid $8 for this book. Uh, it was used. Uh, it's in very good shape, so I'm not too worried about uh, the quality of uh, this volume. So, when we open up the book... Um, 
a little disappointing. There is a color gallery in there that we that we'll flip through, and I'm going to switch my lights and get rid of the glare here once again. Okay, not easy to do. And uh, the table of contents. Okay, we got the forward. Okay, uh, chapter one is building plastic kits. Chapter two is building resin kits. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we have our color gallery, okay, on page 49, okay, known as the fleet, the special color photo sections. Three is scratch building and detailing superstructures and shapes, okay. Chapter four is working with brass and stainless steel photo etching, okay. And that is worth the price of admission of this book alone. Uh, chapter five is painting, masking, and decal applications. Now... The reviews on these books was good, okay? Now, <clears throat> in its original version, okay, of uh, from 1996, if we look at the table of contents, uh, we had modeling ships, uh, modeling tips and techniques, hull and main deck assemblies, superstructures assembly and photo etch railings and ladders, okay? Uh, we had the shipboard special, of course, which is the color photos, guns, cranes, catacombs, small boats, masts, and rigging, Okay, scratch building ships parts, displaying your model, so on and so forth. Um, there's stuff that's in this book that is not in this book. However, what this book contains is more than enough uh, to see you through what needs uh, to be done. Um, The first maritime, okay, I will not, uh, the, um, if we talk about levels of difficulty, okay, and I'm sure that people uh, will or will not agree with me out there, okay, uh, in order of uh, difficulty uh, uh, from one to five, okay, I would have to play scratch building, okay, as a five. The maritime scene as a four. Uh, the aircraft uh, industry. I like to give them the benefit of the doubt, uh, but because we're on a scale of uh, one to five, we'll give them a three, and armor a scale of two. And that's not really fair, okay? By doing it that way, so I'd say scratch building five, okay. Uh, four and a half, okay, for the maritime scene, four for the aircraft scene, and 3.5, okay, for the armor scene. That is as fair as I can make it, okay, because of the complexity involved in the maritime scene. Is That's why we don't see a lot of modelers in the maritime scenes. Uh, submarines, okay, uh, wind up at a three, okay, well below. Uh, and to be fair to submarines, um Depending on the detailing uh, that is there, uh, a 2.5 to 3, okay, uh, the majority falling in the 2.5 category because there's a lot, not a lot to a submarine, okay. So, without further ado, let's go look and uh, see what's in this book. <clears throat> so, uh, he starts off uh, very basic with building uh, uh, plastic kits and, of course, uh, his favorite topic in this particular book is the Missouri Okay, which I'm going to be building. So once again, and I'm building the one and three fifty scale. So uh, same as my Bismarck, and the same as will hold through. Okay, for my Yamato when I do get that. Uh, this book will be very very useful when I build uh, the flower class Corvette. I already have that book, but some of the techniques in here will and can be applied to the flower class Corvette, which is a reference book and not a modeling book per se. So, uh, go through various details here on, uh, you know, just the straight modeling and uh, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, puttying, okay, um, how to uh, create uh, a resin uh, fixture, okay, for uh, fancy uh, brass supports, okay, for uh, your model on its base and so on and so forth. So... Um, how to change your shaft for, uh, you know, from uh, the normal styrene uh, that we have down here. Okay, let's zoom in on some of this. Uh, 
Whoops, going the wrong way. Hit the wrong button. Okay, where's my cross? A little too high. Let's drop her down once. Okay. Uh, that's where it becomes difficult here. Okay, what do I see in here? Uh, da -da -da -da. Whoops, I got the book upside down. There we go. Okay, uh, so we've got here uh, the styrene, okay, and uh, then we get into uh, the brass, okay, and how to drill your air brackets and your A brackets and so on and so forth. Uh, something we see a lot in this book, he uses a drill press, okay. Uh, a small uh, Dremel uh, drill press, okay, attachment would work great for, for doing models. I wouldn't, I don't see some of the, the tininess of the... Uh, these operations be carried out on the drill press, and I'm a machinist. Um, so we go into detail, okay, of uh, sanding, so on and so forth. Uh, nothing much here. Um, drilling out the portholes, okay, uh, with a twist drill vice is a pin vice. So I'm not quite sure what he's referring to there, but. Uh, Nonetheless, uh, some of the, the, the preparation, the, the prep steps uh, were all through here. Uh, if you don't have the right size drill bit, you can also use a tip of a number 11 exacto blade to enlarge the holes, okay, of your gun barrels, okay. Uh, I got all aftermarket uh, gun barrels for my, uh, uh, my Bismarck. So, and then um, they go into uh, building resin kits. Um, and that has its own uh, set of uh, uh, uniqueness to it and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, he goes on to how to shape the holes and uh, yada, 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 yada. And of course, uh, resin is uh, uh, extremely toxic, so we have to wear a mask. So I don't intend on... Uh, uh, doing that. Okay, uh, then we go into uh, pictures of the fleet themselves of some models uh, that were built. Um, we are going to zoom in on that. And no, I cannot um, uh, get a better lighting because all it will do is cause glare. I'll try. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe not. Let's see how that works out. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay. Um, i got to get rid of my third hand here that I did a review on. That caused all this. <clears throat> okay, uh, this happens to be the... We have a cruiser here. We have an aircraft carrier over here, which is the Yorktown. Okay, a PT boat. Uh, various submarines on display. Uh, another sub picture. It's just a fleet, okay? Something uh, uh, willing for uh, uh, the maritime scene. Here we have the Missouri, and I can't get. Oh, there we go. We have the Missouri, and we see it had all those guardrails and ladders and so on and so forth. This is all photo wise to give you an idea of the scale. This is a one three fifty Missouri, okay? You've already seen. Uh, <clears throat> the photo etch that uh, will need to be applied. Uh, these catapults here, uh, it's all photo etched, the crane and so on and so forth. So very, very, very tiny details. <laughs> and uh, uh, a fishing trawler here, another thing. But the, the section that I mentioned uh, scratch building, okay, we're not going to cover that, but it is there in detail how to go about it, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, but the one that was worth the price of admission, like I said, is photo etching, okay, uh, and so on and so forth. Working with brass and stainless steel photo etching, okay, and how to go about it. Uh, you don't necessarily need tubes, okay, uh, to get a sharp bend on a photo wedge railing, use a set of flat face needle nose uh, pliers and to hold the part, then bend uh, the photo etching using the edge of a single edge uh, razor blade, okay, uh, yeah, there's a hell of a lot more uh, 
dexterity doing it this way than using a, a, a photo etch press and so on and so forth. Uh, down here, when uh, around gun mounts, or in this particular case, if you look around this uh, this gun mount on the the bridge, or uh, uh, some binoculars there on the pilotage. Okay, uh, we got around. So we use a. Uh, uh, I wouldn't doubt if you don't want to use a razor blade to make sharp bends, use a thick a piece of evergreen plastic and so on and so forth. Uh, some very, very good tips there, okay, how to paint your photo wedge prior to applying it to the ship, so on and so forth. Uh, more importantly, how to install this, okay. And some of these, uh, in this other book, uh, some of these uh, scratch build, the railings and so on and so forth, uh, you drill through the deck and and uh, all that uh, good stuff. So definitely worth the price of admission. I'm going to zoom in on this photo if I can, and you will see what I mean about the amount of photo etch involved, okay, on a battleship. Okay. All this. And you can see you can see the uh, the railings and so on and so forth. That is a massive. Uh, if we look at uh, do, 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 there's another shot. If you look at the bottom, uh, it gives you an appreciation of the degrees of complexity of how this is uh, done. But he goes through explaining it a lot, uh, building the crane assemblies. Okay. And yeah, these look smashing compared to the stock parts. Although to me and my kits are very, very good. Uh, here we got a set of ladders. Uh, no, sorry, the depth charge racks and so on and so forth. Uh, and absolutely, uh, when we get into making uh, to, to do radar masts, sorry for flipping these books all over the place. Okay, there's a building of a mast. And there's a shot of uh, the mask uh, completed and so on and so forth. So uh, here is a nice, uh, here's a, an example of uh, some of the, the tips and tricks. Okay, uh, we have, uh, there's some of the tying of this. Okay, this is a radar. Okay, it's a fire director. Okay, uh, they apply a piece of styrene in the back to... Uh, give it uh, some perspective uh, we see it here and there we see uh, down here with the finer director uh, the fire the firing director uh, in place okay uh, <clears throat> and some of the details of all this photo etch that is involved on our ship there's a lot there's a ladder okay this is all photo etch there that's photo etch uh, when folks on armor curse uh, this entire radar Sorry, folks, this is not easy to do upside down. It's, this entire radar is all photo etched, okay? So uh, if you uh, armor guys curse and all that, I'm definitely going to be cursing uh, with this. Uh, this particular radar, I would expect me, I would expect that it will probably take me an evening to build just that radar itself. That's why maritime uh, vessels are uh, extremely time-consuming, okay? And uh, take more than... Uh, a month uh, to build uh, painting uh, masking and uh, deco applications I mean that is straightforward okay uh, this book of course was designed okay with uh, the ship modeling in mind and we're going to zoom back out here okay uh, it was more uh, with uh, ship modelers in mind than anything else however lessons learned in this particular book Okay, um, uh, can be applied to uh, other facets of our hobby. Uh, here's a, a nice clean description, okay, because of the shadows. Okay, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is the Missouri on the cover page. Okay, we can see the deck railing here and so on and so forth, uh, same as here. We see our mast and its rigging and so on. In the book, he uses tresses, spread, uh, <clears throat> stretch the sprue. I'll be using easy line for all my uh, line rigging and so on and so forth, only because uh, it works, and it works a hell of a lot better than uh, spread sprue, and not only that, it will not break. 
Um, we have a radar here. We have here was uh, over here. It's uh, the firing director, and we have a small uh, small uh, uh, radar. And uh, just as you know, I laid my Bismarck aside. Uh, because of the amount of photo wish that was involved and it was uh, intimidating and I was not ready to do that uh, this book was worth the price of admission there I'm not going to be doing a book review on uh, this particular one okay similar contents and all that good stuff uh, different gallery uh, this book preempted um, uh, Mike Ashley is a second edition, okay? Uh, it's not even a second edition, really. It's uh, it's a total uh, different book, different gallery, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, once again, I think I paid uh, eight or nine dollars for this volume, okay? Used and it's in good shape, okay? It's uh, of course it's used and uh, it's to be expected. Um, Here's an example, okay, of uh, some of the things, if I can get at that. Uh, here's one, okay, where he's talking about, uh, in this particular section, he's talking about uh, the vent holes, okay, on submarines, okay. In this particular case, it was a U-boat. Um, there's bits and pieces that are not in the other one. The other one is the hose pipes, okay, for the anchors. Uh, okay, where we have to remove mold, how to remove molding railings uh, if it's on your ship, and so on and so forth. Uh, chapter two, scripture ceremony, photo etch and railings and ladders. Okay, so uh, we cover some of that, but this particular one, okay, is. Uh, not as in depth as uh, my other one, the other volume. And I'm trying to um, find how to clean out the hose pipes, which he shows uh, basically with a Dremel tool. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of. Uh, of uh, Material that uh, a, a, a modeler doesn't know, uh, or should, <clears throat> or should know. Okay, uh, at this stage of the game, although I've only uh, been in modeling now for going on seven months, um, there's a, a picture of uh, what a superstructure should look like uh, with its photo etch and so on and so forth. Uh, we get into the shipyard, okay, a, a rescue launch and so on. Um, you do not need this book, okay? This book covers it all, okay? The bits and bobs that might be in this one, okay, are superfluous to this volume, okay? Uh, this volume go, goes a hell of a lot more in depth as far as I'm concerned with regards to photo etching and... Uh, detailing although the book is called the basic of ship modeling building and detailing scale model ships leads you to believe that this book would be further in depth than this one don't let the uh the titles fool you this book is more comprehensive, although it only says basics, than this one when they say building and detailing, okay? So, uh, this book, uh, will the reason why it's in the video, okay, and I will post both links there. Uh, this one here, same price, okay, IESBN number 089-024-2402. I'll have both in the, the, the description. Okay, and I will uh, both have um, uh, a, det uh, a detailed rundown of uh, what the contained in the book, and you'll be able to do your own comparison. But uh, don't waste your money on the first one, folks. For the maritime scene out there, this is the book you want if you're not looking for a specific 
uh, reference to a specific vessel. Uh, this is my longest book review that I've done. So, thanks for watching, folks. I hope this was informative. Without further ado, Switcher, signing off.